my graduates from my school being Forbes. Bag drop. Bag drop. <laughs> a mic drop. Bag drop. Bag drop. All right, guys. Welcome back. EYL, legendary situation right here. Absolutely. First of uh number of reasons. Yeah, many of reasons. That's a fact. First and foremost, we want to thank you guys for your ongoing support. It's truly, truly humbling, and we never, never, ever take it for granted. So, um, you know, one of the things, the dope part about Earn Your Leisure is that if you've been rocking with us from day one, or even if you just came on board, you get to see our growth because we're actually, you know, this is actually happening in real time for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. So people saw, you know, how we started um, in Troy's dining room, <laughs> and they saw the progression in us, you know, having a studio. And then going to Atlanta, having a studio out there, and then you know getting a trucking company, and then they, they saw the growth as far as our YouTube, they saw the growth as far as EYL University just exploding, um, and it's just constantly like you know we're an entrepreneur business podcast platform, but um, you know we don't just highlight other people like we actually show you the inner workings of what yeah. we have going on as well, and um, that's the whole point, right? It's like you know we in it to to create jobs, create opportunities, and make a profit. Uh, we never apologize about making money. That's the whole point. Nor should you. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, for saying? sure. So, you know, one of the things that was was day one and has grown, and, and we've had trials and tribulations, and something that is probably one of the most common things for entrepreneurs, especially in our community, is merch. Yeah, like, you know yeah. what I mean? So it's merch. And uh, people, they have witnessed our merch journey, and uh, actually we put a post on uh, a real that um got a lot a lot of views and people was asking us about it like you know can you explain this and what's this machine you're using and how do you do <laughs> yeah. this and how'd y'all change that and how y'all do it yourself because we say you know we cut out the middleman we're doing everything ourselves now so we figured you know instead of just kind of making an ig post and you know a clip explaining it i know a lot of people um have the same question they're interested it's like you know how do you get started in the merch game, how do you grow the merch game? There's a lot of moving parts to it. It's, it's a little bit more even than I expected yeah, it to be. It's, it's crazy because when we started, we had no idea of all the intricacies. And now it's like, yo, it's a whole machine that we got running, man. Yeah. So Dude's being, talking it and really living it. Being that, you know, we just dropped our new our new merch collection. We figured it'd be fitting to have an episode. I like that. Explaining our merch journey from the beginning to where we are now. All the trials and tribulations, all the mistakes all the mistakes that we made that cost us a lot of money. And, um, you know, hopefully, you know, you can actually learn from it and uh, make money and uh, save yourself uh, time and energy by actually learning from our mistakes. So we have a special guest for this episode. <laughs> and once again, <laughs> if you've been following our journey, you've, you've probably heard Chico Bean. Shout out to Chico Bean. Shout out to Ding Dash. You've heard him referenced on a few different episodes before. Mike. Um, so, you know, you see Earn Your Leisure a lot of times, mostly all the time you see me and Troy, we're the, we're the face of it in front of the camera, but none of it will be possible without our, our third partner, the guy behind the scenes, Mike, uh, <laughs> might be Mike as yes, is Chico Bean. <laughs> Mike G. Chico Bean. So Mike, Mike does everything as far as from, you know, uh, YouTube to the technical stuff, EYL University. He's kind of the handyman of Earn Your Leisure. He makes the whole operation run on all of the things that. Build me up, build me up. Build me up. <laughs> Yo, you like this intro? <laughs> we go, we gonna say this. We gonna say this, Mike. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So one of the things that he uh, he took the head and he's um, really been the forefront of actually managing was the merch. So we figured, okay, if we want to do a merch episode. We got to include Mike in it because he's the guy that actually has all the information and, you know, legendary situation because I don't think anybody has really seen him too much. Uh, so now we're putting a guy behind the camera in front of the camera. So hopefully he doesn't get too nervous. <laughs> Take it easy on him. We're going to be, yeah, we'll go, we'll go easy on so him. So first yeah. and foremost, uh, thank you for joining us. Appreciate well, it. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. Yeah, man. So, so it's, it's legendary. And this is the first time that we're recording an episode uh, as Earn Your Leisure, which makes it really dope, man. Like you said, they see us too, but it's like this, this, is, this is a three-headed uh, uh, team that, that does this. So mm -hmm. shout out to you, man. It's like it's Appreciate like it. Destiny's Child reunited. 
Um, all right, so we're gonna we're gonna jump right into it, and um, this is a free flowing conversation because all of us played a part in the merch, but. Mm-hmm. I think it's important to start at the beginning level of why we even thought merch was important. So this is something that all entrepreneurs, um, no matter what business you're in, this is the great thing about merch, right? Is that from my standpoint, and anybody else can chime in, um, it's a great marketing tool. Mm -hmm. So that was the first, that's the first thought behind it is like, all right, we're building our brand over a year ago where we're new, we're building our brand. Um, You know, obviously we're on Instagram, we got the podcast popping, but how do we reach more people? How do we grow the tent even larger? So the number one thing, as if, you know, what Dame says, shout out to Dame, is that, you know, people see me, I got to wear something. Mm-hmm. So instead of me promoting other people's brands and wearing, you know, uh, designer clothes and rapping about designer clothes, I might as well wear my own stuff. So that's what we said, like, you know, they got to see us in front of the camera. Yeah. Um, it's a visual thing. They see us with clips on Instagram. Why not have something that we can coin ourselves and put it out there and not only will it help grow our brand, but it'll be, it'll be, you know, something that people can champion and be proud of as well. Yeah. So we going back and forth for a while, like, you know, all right, what do, what do we do? What do we do? So, you know, just kind of going back and forth. I'm like, all right, well, we're a financial literacy platform. Right. And, um, what kind of, what's a cool slogan that yeah. can fit in? Cause obviously we can just make earn your leisure, yeah, and we, we did do that. Yeah, we started with the logo T. Yeah, the yeah, logo yeah. T. Yeah. Those is extremely popular. We should release that limited edition. Yeah, those is fire. Um, <laughs> but it was like, what's our slogan? What's our thing that we can just, you know, every brand I feel like has a slogan. Nike yeah. has just do it. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's like you always got a slogan. So assets over liabilities. You know, yeah. I came up with that. Now, we shouldn't jump straight to that yet. Because it was like we had like a bunch of ideas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because ideas are important. Yeah, a bunch of them. But it was like, yo, let, let's just out a bunch of them and that's something that people need to learn too like just, stick. Th- just have a bunch of ideas a bunch of ideas put them all out there it's something that we had to learn and then maybe as you go on scale back the ideas but assets of liabilities that that was like it's stick. It's we were stick. like yeah that, that we gotta go with that so yeah. you gotta tell the story how you came up with that yeah assets over liabilities it was like you said it was a lot of different things that we was going back and forth with hustle for your last name mm-hmm. that wasn't ours we didn't come up with that right right, right, right. We, didn't like, that. we didn't come up with that um I'm not sure. We had a few. Other. We had we had uh had the, the curators of culture. I remember that joint. We had um the credit rules, everything around me. Remember that? Uh, yeah, I came up with credit. Yeah, that <laughs> credit. was actually a good one. The too. cream joint was there. Cream. Um, we had we had a bunch of them. You know, because it was just like, yo, we knew how important it is to that the what clothing can do for a community, right? The first thing that people see is what you have on, and so if they're gonna look at what you have on, it might as well have a message. So like, even the day one people like. The first couple of episodes, we didn't we even have our own stuff. Like we was wearing other people's stuff and it was like, nah, bro, like we gotta stick to that that model of like, yo, if they're gonna see us, they might as well see us in our own thing. Yeah. So when I came up with the idea of assets over liabilities, it was like to me just a no brainer. Um, where I'm like, all right, the most simplest way to explain it in three words as far as what we do. It's assets over liabilities, right? Like that's easy. Straight to the point. So that the wording came to my brain like assets over liabilities. Now it's like visually, how does this look, right? So I'm going back and forth with Mike because Mike making a mock up. So I'm like, yo, we should have assets over liabilities with the bar in between over, like, like on where over is. And um, he didn't fully understand what I was saying. So his first mock up was assets, and then it was just over. And it was no bar. And I'm kind of like trying to explain it to him. Like, nah, I want the bar. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I I feel like the reason why I did that, I feel like even going back to math class, when you have like the fractions, like you always got like a line. So I'm like, if we can have that line and just have like, it it makes over even stand out even more. Like, as opposed to just saying over, now you got the line. So it's assets over liabilities with the line. It's like a a play on, on the whole situation. So... He's like, finally, we we um we did it, and then we got the font. The font's extremely important. You want to talk about how you how you decide the font? Normally, I go to a site called thefont.com or Google Fonts to get the fonts. And I, I remember I sent you like about four or five fonts, and you you, you like the uh the, the the glitchy font, the you know the the rustic font that we have. You like that one, and we just play with that one. But um, if you go to thefont.com, you can get you can get a, a free fonts or a Google Fonts. They they got and they got thousands and thousands of fonts. Yeah, the fonts is extremely important because even when we was doing the logo, 
to earn your leisure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I was playing around with that, and I came up with uh, I think Friday the Thirteenth is the font that um, we use for the earn your leisure writing. And I just found out on the app. Yeah. I just went to an app um, and was just playing around with different fonts and was like that. So the font that we use is is extremely important. I encourage Definitely. people to to. So then so then it was like all right. How do what, what do we do? Like, what do we do with it, right? So it's like, all right, we got the assets over liabilities. This is what we're gonna go with. Mm -hmm. Then we decide, like, the easiest thing to do is put it on t shirts, mm -hmm. put it on t shirts, and put it on sweaters. Yeah. So, you want to talk about how we actually did that, Troy and Mike? So, so basically, once we confirmed the logo, we, we, we had to get you know a mock up. So I got I got a couple a t shirt I think a t shirt mock up mm -hmm. and a hoodie a, a hoodie mock up because the hoodies was you know it was big at, big at that time it was around January February something like that so we had to get the um the hoodie so I gave you the mock up and after we got the mock up we found this site called Printful.com yeah because we we, <laughs> we didn't know we didn't know if we could sell merch yeah so we had to see if it was gonna go and Printful.com they basically it's a drop ship um service so they allow you to uh you send them the logo and whenever you get an order. It goes straight to your site to them. Yeah, they print it, they send it out, and they send you a profit. It's about thirty percent, thirty percent profit. You don't make as much profit. Yeah, but you don't have to put all that money up front for the inventory. And that's key. That's key. It's like so, like Printful was so key because it was like, yo, we didn't have any money. <laughs> like I don't want to over like yeah. discount that fact. Like we had no money mm -hmm. to buy the merch and then print it up. So it was like, look. We don't have to buy the merch. Like Printful will fulfill it for us. They are the yeah. manufacturer, the fulfillment center, and the mm -hmm. distribution center. All we have to do really is create the files. So every time like we came up with a logo, I know like we had, and that was like I said, we had to scale back. We had so many different mm -hmm. logo, different sayings on shirts. It was like, all right, some of this we don't even need. You know what yeah. I'm saying? All we have to do is just create the file for it. And so once we put the file in, it was easy. Like now yeah. it's like pick a piece of merch it could be a tank top remember, remember we had the tank? Yeah, you could do tank tops you could do t-shirts you could do everything uh mass anything and um it, it was it was a it was an inexpensive solution right to get our merch up and get it up fast right so it cost us nothing to actually do it mm -hmm. um but we gained profit not as much as we could have and we learned we'll, that we'll later talk about that. we'll get down there but so, it was so, like but, but comes profit so yeah so printfall is great for people that Mm -hmm. Don't have the money or may not have the confidence because you don't know if your merch is going to sell. And I was like, exactly. even what Ash Cash said about the books, like you don't want to buy a hundred sweaters and then just have it sitting in your basement forever. Mm -hmm. um, so Printful, all you have to do is just give them the the design, yeah. right? Yeah, and then they, they put it on, and then and you can make your own price as well. So you you know they tell you that it costs say fifteen dollars, right? That's just a number I'm throwing out there. You can make it sixteen dollars, you can make it twenty dollars, you can make, you can make your own price. Mm -hmm. So that that's also good too, and it tells you how much profit you're going to make. After you make your price, so you know exactly how much you're making per shirt. Right. So, so right. how how do we integrate that with the website? Like actually putting it on a website. So what's cool is um with Shopify, and that's the that's how we our our site is built is built on the Shopify um, platform, which is one of the best platforms if you want to do any e commerce, um and it, it, that's about what thirty dollars a month. It starts off at thirty dollars a month to have that platform, and they they do the shipping the shipping um percentage, um they do uh the the analytics for you. They do everything, um so sh sh with Shopify. You you connect the Printful app to the Shopify and it automatically syncs with with your merch when you make on make on Printful. Did I say that too fast? No. Nah, so you you pretty much so all right. So so yeah. Shop, Shopify is the payment processor. No, Shopify is your Shopify is the is the uh, the platform. Let's okay. say that's the platform. Mm -hmm. Earn your leisure goes on that platform. Okay, that's our store. Yep, that's our store. Okay. Now Printful is a third party app that talks to Shopify. Okay. So every time someone comes to Earn your leisure and make a sale. Shopify sends that sale to Printful, and Printful makes the order and sends it out. The manufacturer fulfill the distributor. Got you. Okay. That's, yep. So the payment processing runs through Shopify, right? The the payment processes through a, a company called Stripe. Stripe and Shopify. So we have we accept credit card payments through uh, Shopify payments. So Shopify handles all the merch the, the merchant merchant account, and then we also have PayPal. So we use PayPal and we use the Shopify merchant. But, okay. And every time a sale comes through, we get an email about that. We get an email yeah. saying, "Ding ding, you got, you got, you got." You, like, I know what somebody ordered. <laughs> We've been getting a lot of those lately. That's a fact. <laughs> so, 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 yeah. So we set that up, and um, so now we got to market it, right? So as far as marketing, you know, what got us here, and you know, our our game plan from day one was social media. 
So, um, you know, we was wearing it on social media. Mm -hmm. And being that it, it was something that, that caught people's attention. Like, when people see the assets over liabilities, they're yeah. like, what is that? Like, are you an accountant? Mm -hmm. Like, what does that mean? Like, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a conversation it's starter. Immediate Definitely. conversation starter. People, people see you in the airport and they, they like, I like, that. I like stop that. you. And that's another thing, too, from the tip, from my standpoint, as far as on the marketing side, is that a lot of times we, we have we like, try to put our brand out there. Like, if you have, you know... X, Y, and Z burger, you want to put X, Y, and Z burger. Like we could have easily put earn your leisure on every single thing, mm -hmm. but sometimes it's like you could put something out there that's not directly related to who you are, but it all comes back to you. Because so like, for us, yeah. we've become a lot of different things have come synonymous with us. So E Y L, which is the initials, even if they don't know, they might not even heard of Earn Your Leisure, but they heard of E Y L. Yeah, remember that. But that's a conversation too, though. That's that, and we should talk about that. It was like, yo, when we kept E Y L, was like people know things in like three letters. So we were like, yo, Y S L is Y S L is a brand. Like, yo, E Y L sounds pretty similar. Like, what's wrong with that? You yeah, know what I'm saying? I mean, you know me, I get everything from from rap music. So <laughs> I've told the story before, but like Wu Tang to me, like that was just so dope how they did it. So it was like they have the Wu Tang Clan. But then they got Wu Killer Bees, mm -hmm. right? That was their logo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then they got the W. Like that W that, is strong. I strong. mean, that's world renowned. Like if you see that W, you think Wu Tang. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you got the Wu. So it's like it's so many different things that you can like. Where it's like even if you're not saying the Wu Tang Clan, you are saying any of those different things, it all comes back to the, to Wu Tang. Exactly. So for us, it was the same thing. It was like I. Right, if we got a slogan, so now our slogan became assets over liabilities. EYL, like you said, that's like YSL, or that's like something that's like a, you know, USC. When you think of a college, it's like USC yeah, all, it's or all three letters. LSU or any of those type of universities. They always like NYU. They always have three. Like you don't say New York University, you right. say NYU. Oh yeah, OSU. Right? All it's, they're, yeah. they're all three letters. I've only heard NYU. Yeah, <laughs> so it's like I right, EYL, which made it perfect for EYL University, yeah. which came later on down the line, and then just even our bobblehead logo, which you see in the back right there, <laughs> that's something that just came about on the emoji app. But now people see that's a conversation starter, right? It's like, oh, which one is which? Who, yeah, what's this? <laughs> and, da, 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 da. and it's like you know, so marketing for us was real big. So as far as marketing the merch. We're wearing it every single chance we get. Shout out to Spurgo. That's something that he said, like brand consistency. Mm -hmm. Every time you see us out, we're wearing it. We're wearing it on our podcast. We're mm -hmm. wearing it on YouTube. We're wearing it on Instagram. And then we're giving it away. Yeah. So all of the influencers, everybody that came on our show, we're gifting it to them. Yeah. So now they're wearing it. When they work out, they might put it in their stories. Freak we're promotion. reposting yeah, it's it. Freak. Yeah. And, and that's that's how you, you spread the brand. And when we was giving it to the people who came on, it was like, yo, that was part of like the graduation gift. Like, yo, you did the episode. Welcome to alumni. Here's your shirt. Um, <laughs> so it, it was free. It was free promotion. Yeah. So it just started to, it's just one of these things that just started to spread like wildfire because now pe we had developed such a, a loyal base and, and we was given so much value that people was just looking for ways to support us. That's another thing too. It's like focus on the value because once you focus on the value, then Selling any product is uh, becomes a lot easier because people, you know, they want to support things that they believe in, mm -hmm. right? It's like it's like Nipsey, like the Proud to Pay campaign, where it was like the hundred dollar mixtape. Like sometimes people will just buy a mixtape or they'll just buy a record just because they really rock with the artist. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? They feel like they just got so much value from that artist for so long that hey, let me just buy this CD. I might not even never play it. But let That's me just support. fifteen dollars. Yeah. That ain't gonna kill me. Even in Nipsey's case, it was a hundred dollars. Yeah, a hundred dollars. People bought it, and a lot of people, a lot of people bought it. I think a thousand people or something like that. So that's how we just started to grow, and um, so now it, it became really, really big, right? Where yeah. it was like assets over liabilities, and we I'm like, oh, you know them? <laughs> like it became like people would walk out, and you would be like. You see people with the shirt, and it's like, yo, that's crazy. They walk right past you. They not have no idea, and it was like. I, I remember when my um, my brother called me and he was like, he was in school and somebody saw the logo shirt and he was looking at it like, yo, that's my brother you got on the shirt. It was like unbelievable for him to see it. And they were like, yo, you know them? And he was like, yo, that's my brother, man. This is kind of trippy. He was like, yo, y'all got something. He was like, yo, y'all got to put those logo shirts out, bro. The logo shirts are the ones that's going to do it. And at the same time, we was doing the assets or liabilities and people were walking around with that. It was like seeing it out there was crazy because it was like, yo, that was just an idea. And now it's, it's, it's attacking the country and the world. It's definitely crazy. When you go out, it's like the mall or something, you see somebody else with the merch, you're like, damn. So so let me ask you this, because all t-shirts aren't made the same. Mm. So how do we decide which quality t-shirt? Because like on the way on the site, they can you got different options of what what kind of shirt you want to use, right? So uh it, they do have a lot of different um uh different uh t-shirt 
types of t-shirts and material. Okay, that was like um, we 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 tested like five of them, and and you know one would shrink, one the collar would might be Mike Kahlo, um, would mess up. <laughs> Well, you know, so it was so many different things that was happening. We was trying, you know, uh, what is that? What do they say? You uh, you trying so many things until until it works or whatever. But um, we we came we came across a, a Netflix on uh, Netflix. Um, we came across next level ne- next level thirty six hundred. Yeah, yeah. So the next next level thirty six hundred, it didn't shrink. It looked really well, like well um, made, and um, it, it the collar was good. And we just went with that, and it, it, you know, trial and error. That's what I was trying to find. Yeah, so we, we did the trial and error in the, in the next level, thirty six hundred. That's what we decided on. And, and it's important too when when you're trying to find um, a t shirt that's going to fit. Yes, you can get some demos, but what's important too is the price point. So like mm-hmm. we chose that price point because it was like, all right, that's affordable, right? Like when we're looking at profit margins, it's just like, yo, are we going to pay thirty dollars for a champion t shirt to put our logo on? Like if we're paying if thirty dollars just to get the shirt we didn't even put the logo or ship in it's like you know what like now how much do you have to charge for a t-shirt to even yeah. make a profit so yeah. it was like it's important to find so there, there was there's a couple right so next level was one we stuck on but uh Gil- Giladon was one uh champion was one like we said next level uh, american apparel was one all are different price points all different qualities so it's very important to test out um get samples of each one if, if you're definitely, gonna go that route definitely get each because because we may not we may we may like next level you may like Gildan. right it, it all depends. So, so we selected the, the uh, next level thirty six hundred. Um, people liked it. People loved it, and um, we didn't have no complaints. And and that was that. With that. What's up, y'all? It's the fourth quarter. It's a new month, and what better way to start it than to come and join us at EYL University? Yes, the fourth quarter is where star players make a name for themselves. So, come and join the number one roster. EYL University is the biggest platform for business in the universe. We have over seventy past classes weekly classes we have a private investment group on facebook which gives you access to our movie club our book club we also have bi-weekly real estate calls with mg the mortgage guy and monthly financial advising calls with none other than yours truly (laughs) so head over to eyluniversity.com right now and enter promo code eyl for 40% off of our annual membership. That's right. Don't wait. Don't hesitate. Head over. We'll see you on the other side. So then we started to actually, so now we're selling merch online, but then we had the idea to actually start moving around the country and we um, we did we did a uh, tour. So um, before we did any paid events, we did free events. So the marketing for that, the, the thought process for that was that, okay, we're getting bigger and bigger and, um, you know, we know, we have listeners all over the country and all over the world, but it's hard to really gauge that. Like, it's hard to really gauge what's real and what's not just yeah. from your cell phone. Like, you know what I'm saying? The internet's a weird place. Like, you don't, you can't really tell if you're like, you, you're trapped in your own bubble. Like, we live in New York, so we was getting love in New York, but we we knew we had a presence, but we didn't know how strong the yeah. presence was. Mm-hmm. So we like, all right, <laughs> the best way to kind of test this out, test the market out, is to go to different cities and do networking events, free networking events, mm-hmm. um, that promote was, that it. That was real. We did that. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, just kind of gauge how hot we are. So the first one we did was LA, and then we did- um, well, You got to tell them when we decided to do that, that was big. And where we did it, in LA. Yeah, yeah. So the first the first one we did was in LA, and that was a spur of the moment. Shout out to MG the Mortgage Guy. I actually got that idea from Matt. I don't know if I ever told him that. But um, we was in LA to interview Al Harrington and do a few different other things. And this was this was April 2019. 2019. Yep. And um we was out there. We had no plan to do an event or anything. And I saw uh, Matt was in Atlanta and he did a pop-up networking event randomly. Mm-hmm. And I asked him, he's like, yeah, I got like 70 people that signed up. It's going good. Da, 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 da. So I'm like, yo, we should just do a, a pop-up random networking event in LA. We out here. Mm-hmm. Why not just, you know, try to just see, you know, if people really rock with us like that. So we put it on Instagram. Instagram's a great tool to, to find resources. We found a lot of stuff on Instagram. So we put it on Instagram. I think we put it on a story, like looking to do an event in LA. Um, and this was like last minute. Like we put it on Thursday and we was trying to do the event. Yeah, like we got the fly up there on all Monday. That. So somebody reached out to us like, hey, you know, I got to connect with um, somebody, you know, it's a great guy, um, black man. I got a business, da, 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 da. So we, we spoke to him and he was great, 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 great brother um, out of Carson, Carson, California. Oh, yeah. So when we put the post in the IG story, like we're looking for a place and uh, 
you know, we got introduced to a um, great, great, great brother, businessman, and uh, he had a restaurant called Daryl's and um, Cajun Bar and Grill. I spoke to him on the phone, and I told him, like, yeah, you know, I know it's last minute, but we want to do a networking event, da 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 so he's like, all right, cool. He's like, you know, I got Monday open. So it was ran- it was a Monday. <laughs> so not only was it a, just a, a random Monday, which is not really, you know, networking events on Monday. Mm-hmm. Um, it was in Carson, California. We didn't really know. You know, we're not from L.A., so we didn't really know. You know, obviously with L.A. traffic, Carson, California is way out the way. So it was a Monday. It was like right after work. And it was in Carson, California. And it was two days. We just put a flyer up on Instagram, like, yo, you went, if you're in LA, pop up on us. And we packed it out. And it was crazy because it was like for people to come from like San Bernardino, people came, some people came from San Diego. Mm-hmm. Like they was coming like two hours. So we like, all right, we got something in real life. It's bigger than just on the phone. We didn't have any merch with us at that point in time. We, was just, lesson learned. we wasn't expecting it. But we like, all right, you know what? Going forward, this is this will be a marketing play. So now we we do the next marketing, we do the next event in Brooklyn. Shout out to BK9. Yeah. Um, we do I'm that. Man, JP, what up? Yeah, a few months later, we do it in Brooklyn. That was epic. And now we prepared. And now we got a whole plan on how to actually monetize these things too. Cause it's like, all right, now it's free. But we're like, all right, at the very least, we we can make some money off of the bar and we can sell merch. So now we got we to gotta split it a bar because we're bringing a bunch of people there. We pick our off day, like a Thursday. Yep. Uh, we're bringing a bunch of people there that's not usually going to be there on Thursday at 6 o'clock in the evening. So, you know, they don't really have a problem splitting a bar. And it was everything at the bar, not just alcohol. Mm, food, food and alcohol. Food, food and, and alcohol. alcohol. That's important for people if you think about doing events once Corona opens. Don't just let them give you the alcohol. You got to get the food and the alcohol. Mm-hmm. And then we set up our merch table. And the right merch, outside. the merch, damn there sold out like it was. <laughs> it was flying like hotcakes. Yeah. So now we realize, all right, we got something. Not only can we sell merch online, but we can actually sell merch hand to hand. And these events are a great thing to do it because it's not like we have a store. So now, if we have hundreds of people that are coming to a live event, we can print the merch. But now that put us in a different space because we couldn't. Now we had to actually find a physical printer Mm -hmm. for those. We still had the the online operation, but we had to have the physical. So how do we how do we do the physical situation? So I mean, luckily I knew a a guy, a fellow in Jersey, um, that had a a print a print press. So we did. uh, I sent him the logo. I I bought the shirts. I had an account with um, a site called ssactivewear.com. And they, they basically get all your apparel from there. You get like your t-shirts and every, everything, but it's blank. It's blank apparel. Mm-hmm. And you can get like a next level shirt for about $3.50. So we bought all the shirts. We bought, I think we bought like 100, right? 50 or 100 shirts. I think we bought 100. Yeah, yep, 100. we bought 100 shirts. And my guy um, in Jersey, he printed them for like $4 a piece. Yeah, like he looked out for us. That's a fact. Yeah, I, he, I remember driving. Yeah, we had to drive to Jersey to go pick him up. Next time we went <laughs> yeah. to go get it, he he went up. He was like, "Yeah, I can't give you the crazy deal again." But yeah, he did it for like four dollars a piece. So it only really close to like seven dollars a shirt. What, what, so yeah, I remember that man. Shout out to him. That was crazy because yeah. we actually had to go to his house. <laughs> he had a print and press like in, in the his, garage, in, right? Because it was like this random. I'm like, yo, where Mike got us going, man? Because you're doing all this. You're doing all this from Atlanta, but we actually doing like the legwork out here. Like, yo, we got to go to this random dude's crib. And I was like, this is getting crazy, man. We run up to his house. I'm like, oh, you got a nice car. And then it's like, oh, there's a garage back there? And kind of find out that's where he's running the operation out of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was literally running it out of his, <laughs> his basement, printing up shirts. So, yeah, shout out to him, though. Good dude. And, uh, you know, you can find a, a just a print shop anywhere, I mm-hmm. guess. But we found that one in Jersey. So we did that. And we still was a little nervous because, you know, it was our first event where we selling merchandise. And we don't know how that's going to go. Yeah. And we found out that, you know, people... Not only were they willing to buy, but they was, you know, buying two and three shirts. And then, so this is important as well, make sure you got your cash app set up mm-hmm. because, um, mm-hmm. you know, especially if you're selling merch on the fly like that, of course, a credit card processing machine would be great, but we don't, we didn't have that. Um, and that might not be, you know, something that you can do right away if mm-hmm. you're not, you know, you're just doing it on the fly. But cash app is definitely a way digitally people might not have money on them. So everybody didn't have money. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we just cash app. 
and putting um, the signs yeah. up too. That was that was yeah. key. And we didn't have yeah. any money, so it was like if somebody wanted to change, it was just like, uh, what we do? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the digital, we digital, doing it like yeah, we just out we there. You know what? Shout out, shout out to Zay, shout out to Yogi, shout out to Danielle for for, for out, being out there selling the merch because they was outside in the streets with it, man. It was hand to hand combat out right there in front, like before you came in, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. I, I know he was up to something. Like the first, once we walked up, because you know ha we had no idea. This is the first time doing an event in New York. When we walked up, as soon as we got like in front of BK Nine, this dude was like, "Yo, I, I just took a bus from Philadelphia to come see you." Wow. And I was just like, "What?" That's and then amazing. another lady was like, "Yo, I just took a bus from Rhode Island," and I'm just like, "Yo, this is crazy." Like they really rocking with us out here, man. So, yeah, man, you just you never know, man. You never know what the support is. You can study all the analytics you want until you get to a place and and, and you have the ability to touch the people, man. That's when you really see like the it was impact. Amazing. That was de that was definitely an amazing experience because you put you put the picture out on um Instagram. Yeah, and we flooded. We literally flooded the streets. Yeah, it was too many people in in the, in the establishment. And they flooded out on the streets. It was old school New York vibes for sure. You know, <laughs> that's a fact. Said, you know, shout out to everybody that worked the merch table. That's what you do. You get somebody, you know, mm -hmm. um, that a young person that to work work the merch table. Give them a hundred dollars for it. Somebody that you trust, and um, that's how we. That's what we did. So, all right. So now from there we got a we got a model in place. Oh, for trial and error. So then we went to a few other cities after that. We went to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Vita Lounge. We went to uh, Houston. Shout out to Lay Shed. So shout out to Jasmine. What up, Jazz? We went to Chicago. We went that was to dope. Bureau Bar. So um, yeah, we went on a we went on a five city tour um, before we had any paid events. Those was all free. We mm -hmm. was paying our paying our own way to get out th to the each city. And um, like I said, we our whole goal was just to try to make our travel back from the bar and then merch. And then we would do interviews in those cities too, and um, not only did that just build our our, our just street cred, because we was just moving <laughs> around and, it, and the crowds just kept swelling and swelling. By the time we finished up in Chicago, I think we had like we was averaging like 400, 500 people in, a, in an event. Yep. It was just crazy. Like establishment owners, like we never saw this before ever, mm -hmm. and we were selling a bunch of merch, and then that led to us doing paid events. So after that first round of the five city tour, then we started doing paid events where we did um, live podcasts. And uh, workshops and made like a whole two day weekend out of it. And we hit, you know, cities on that tour as well. And we sold merch there. Um, and we, everything was going good. We was releasing some some new merch. Um, we had EYL University was our online education platform, which had just started at that time in mm -hmm. November. And, um, you know, one way to really promote that we figured was through merchandise as well. So going back to the educational play is like, all right, EYL University. So now we got two lines. We got the assets over liability line, yep. but then we got the, the EYL University line. We wanted to do the EYL University. We wanted to make it like college. So we talk, we, you want to talk about that as far as like how we did the, the uh, symbol with the um, olive branch and all of that? Well, you know, um, I seen like a couple of shields, uh, you know, I, I feel like a university has a shield. Yeah. That's kind of normal. So, um, I like design a shield f for the logo. That's how I had that first, and then we had an EYL. We had that EYL in script. We had that. Yeah, we had a few. And I was trying to put EYL in different things, but I was like, "Why work? Why try to change something you already have?" So I put the EYL in there in the middle, and then put the leaf is. I guess the, what does that mean for the educational world? That's like, that's like the Ivy League. <laughs> like the Ivy League prestige. <laughs> yeah. definitely prestige. And um, I think that was that was it. I mean, it was just, it wasn't really too hard. We just made it really simple. I think the first. Maka by saying he was like, "Oh, that's it." That's it. Yeah, and we wore it. We wore it in um DC. Yeah, we, we can't forget the DC event too. Like, yeah, we, we had oh, yeah, those yeah. on shout when we to touched DC. the floor. Shout out to DC. We, we that was a paid event, yeah. but uh, shout out to DC. And yeah, so that became something that, and this this is extremely important too, marketing um for just creatives, whether you're doing merch or not. We always try to keep the same theme. So being that we're an educational platform. EYL University, the name, which is perfect mm -hmm. to have an educational. And then like even the guests that come on our show, we don't call them guests, we call them alumni. Like it's like they finished EYL University and now they've been there alumni. And the, the the people that actually teach classes for EYL University, because every single week is a different class for EYL University. So we don't just call them like guest instructors and stuff like that. We call them professors, mm -hmm. right? So now we're playing a theme. And then now Friday, we, we release uh, micro clips on, on, on Friday for our podcast outlets. And we call those study hall because yeah. that's like direct 
you know, 20, 30 minutes of just straight information about learning about a different yeah, topics. Sometimes when you need extra help, you got to go to study hall. So I like, fully, yo, fully equipped yeah, 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 you know what so, I'm saying? That's so that it's a, it's a perfect play on it. Cause it's mm-hmm. like, yo, if you missed that in the episode, like here's the direct access to it. Mm-hmm. And then even for the, um, emoji, now, shout out to, I forget who put that in there, but some, one of the, the earners put that in there where it was a, a cap. So mm. now we ran with that, the graduation cap. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We needed a symbol. <laughs> yeah. So now you see us on, um, you know, on Instagram, If we, we always put hashtag earn your leisure, EYL University, and then the, the cap. The mm. graduation cap is like mm. synonymous with us. Now that's an, that's an emoji all around the education fact, theme. Fact. So I said to say now we have EYL University. And then it's like, all right, EYL University, what what do colleges have, right? We got hoodies and stuff like that, but colleges are a little different. So they got track suits, right? Mm-hmm. Like if you go to college, like you got track suit, which I'm actually wearing right now. Um, and then it's like a variety of other things that colleges have, right? Which we'll talk about later as far as the varsity jackets and things of that nature. So we developed a different line and things was going good. EYL University started selling, uh, asset over liabilities, everything was selling with the merch and then. COVID, dun, dun. March came, COVID-19 hit, Ooh. and that changed everything because now when Definitely. COVID hit, you want to tell them what, what happened with that? <laughs> oh, man. So COVID hit, and um, we were still getting sales, but unfortunately, Printful wasn't able to uh, keep up with the sales. And now, you know, we got customers waiting four weeks for their merch. You're like, oh, man, like, what are we going to do? And Rashad, when, when he, he's seeing four weeks, he's... Yo, we got we gotta change it. <laughs> other, other companies are getting out. We gotta get it out. So I, I figured out we we gotta we gotta do our own merch. But why did we? Why was it? Why was it four weeks? Yeah, you got to because of COVID. Because yeah. I mean, I mean factories, so, factories, yeah. so like, factories, factories, are, factories couldn't open. Yeah. So print, Printful, obviously, we said is the manufacturer, yeah. the fulfillment, no, and they're, distribution. They're, they're like really, yeah, yeah. yeah. And but so, they weren't so, manufacturing the goods, so right. they couldn't get the goods because everybody was closed down. Right. Exactly. So, so, so you couldn't, you can't get something you can't get. You know, like. They weren't getting the merch, so, so they didn't have any more. Yeah, so, so the, the problem was that it was a sh- it was a it was a supplier on merch because yep, factories were being shut down because mm-hmm. of COVID. Correct. So, but the merchandise was still on the website, so people was ordering it. But and Printful, it. they they can't get their merch from their factories, and then we can't. And, so, get and then we can't get the merch out. So now it's, we're looking crazy because people's mm-hmm. ordering it, and it's like back ordered for like five weeks, yeah. mm-hmm. and then people were sending us very. <laughs> Concerning, no, concerning dis- emails. disturbing, disturbing emails. emails. Yeah, they, they're concerned. Yeah. They're, they're cursing us out. Like I knew this. I knew this was this, a scam. These guys, da, man. Da, da, da. I'm like, yo, it's you, just you a know t-shirt. what? It, it really hit on. It was one we try to do the ones with colors. So when we started seeing like somebody would order red or they would order olive, it was like mm. it was tough. But we could do black and white. And so for a while, we were just like, yo, we're yeah. just gonna sell black and white because that's yeah. all they had. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? So yeah, we, yeah. and that's true too. So like. Paying attention to analytics is key, right? Like, we can see which color is selling. So it's like, yo, you know what I'm saying? We can see the color. We can see the size. We know which one is moving. So it's like, yeah, somebody might order a random yellow sweatshirt. And, like, every customer is important. So if they're not getting it for four weeks, it's like, all right, we've got to make a change. Yeah, we we had This ain't working. We had a nice thing going with the merch, and then that really interrupted it. But it was actually a blessing in disguise because we, we had been talking about making a change for a while because... They were taking a large portion of our profits. You want to talk about that? <laughs> well, so uh, like I said before, um, they 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 would give us thirty percent on the sales. So if we made a thousand dollars, we was only bring home three hundred dollars. So they're they're technically making more than us. Mm-hmm. And this was happening for a long time. And again, both you guys were like, "We need to switch. We need to switch." On oh, every transaction, yeah, yeah, you know, on every transaction, exactly. But we need to switch. We need to start doing our own merch because at this point, we already know we have something. It's selling. It's good. It's uh, and it's valuable. So um, when you first starting out, we don't know. We're in the, we're in the unknown. So we we actually had a product that was selling really well, and we were still using Printful. And I think Printful was supposed to be used just until we knew what we could sell and what, you know what we're selling. So um, we, we were only making thirty percent. So we, we had that. We had it was a gift, a gift and a curse, right? So we we had some customers, and we really. I'm personally sorry, and I know they're personally sorry that you guys took a little longer to get your merch, but But everybody got their merch, by the way. Everybody yeah. got their merch. Yeah. We got it. But um so so we had to switch. Now we had to switch. We had no choice. So what we end up doing is we went to uh, you know, I Google Googled, you know, how, how can I um I didn't want to buy a silk screen um place. That was just gonna be too much. But how can I get this silk screen onto a shirt? And I found I found a site, uh PW Custom, I think it's called. PWCustom.com. And what they do is you you send the logo to them 
and you could put two, you could put four, you could put a bunch of logos on a big 12 by 12 foot sheet. So what I did was I put a bunch of logos on a 12 foot by a 12 by 12 um, sheet and then they sent it to you. You, you buy like, a, it's so cheap. It's like $100 for like 100 sheets. So I'm basically paying a, a 30 cent a logo because I had like four logos on there, mm -hmm. right? So we pay like 30 cent a logo. I sent them the logo. They sent it back a week later. I had all these logos. I'm like, all right, how do we get it on the shirt? <laughs> what are we going to do? What we got to do? I Google that. You need a, you need a heat sink, right? You had to get it like a heat sink, like $300. You go to Amazon, anywhere to get like a, um, a t-shirt heat, heat press. We got that. You literally put this. I mean, I couldn't believe this. We, we paid $3 for a shirt. We pay fit and fifty cent to a dollar for the logo, mm -hmm. and we got the heat sink. And once you pay that, pay that, you don't have to pay that anymore. And you put it on there for thirty seconds. That's it. You got your t-shirt, and we got a front logo and a back logo. Yeah. What what, what's the name of the machine again? Um, it's it's a t-shirt heat press. Sink. Yeah. How much did that cost? You can get you a decent one is yeah. 300 350 dollars. That's yeah. a decent one. You want you want a quality heat press because one it's going to last longer yeah. and two the, the heat is is going to be consistent. Like you can go on Amazon right now. Yep. If you just type in power press machine, it'll come yep. up cuz um and, and look at the reviews. So yeah. what is look at the reviews? What, what did that change our profit margin from? So we went from making 30% to 90%? And then and then we had the difference. power to, to ship everything out ourselves. Yeah. yeah. So we got we got the um the label printer. Um, I got the label printer, which hooks directly up to Shopify. Mm -hmm. I mean, you you press a button, it prints out the uh, the uh, cu customer's uh, label. So we only take that. I went to Amazon. You get the black little packages to uh, put the uh, merch in, put the label on it, send it out. Yo, shout out to Spurgo. Because when we we sat down with him in, um, I think it was early February, we sat down with him and we like, yo, how you doing this? And he's like, yo, I'm going to the mill every day. I'm putting that joint in the mill. I'm putting shipments in the mill. I'm just like... Mm. Wait, he's 14. Why are we not doing this? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> you know, so like, so like we were learning from him. Like he probably didn't even know, but we were just learning from him. Like, yo, he's actually doing this. Like, we need mm -hmm. to get that printer that he's using. Like, just taking pieces. So it's like, yo, everything that we're saying and we're teaching and we're learning, we're also applying. I think yeah. that's what I don't want people to overlook. No, yeah, that. we definitely apply. We get we 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 give a lot of information on the platform, and it's like, how could we give so much information? Why are we not taking advantage of the information? Yeah. So and basically, we 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 got the we got the little system set up. We had a. At first, we were using a, my closet. I had an empty closet in my house. We was using my closet. We had all the merch. Trapping out the van. You know, though. we was trapping out the closet. <laughs> then, we, then we started getting more merch. We was trapping out a whole room. And then we got a, a whole studio to, to put all the merch but in. But even before that, so then even when we was in LA, we had the portable. Yeah, um, that was, that's, the, that's the power press. That was, that was the, yeah, that, that was a, um, uh, I couldn't even get the name of it, but it, it was something you got on, a, it was like $100. But it's something you got on, a, I got, we got it from a Walmart. Okay. Walmart.com. Mm -hmm. But it was it was a that one I won't suggest. That one was because trial and error. That was our trial and error. Yeah. Because we, remember, I said you have to get something that's consistently hot at a, a steady heat and it has to it has to give a lot of pressure. Yeah. And that's why because because it's a chemical on the other side of this and it goes inside the um fabric and it stays in the fabric. Like you could wash this a million times, it ain't coming out. Yeah. That that one it was just like that definitely was yeah. trial and error, but it was like literally that was man to man hand labor. It was like, yo, yeah, yeah, bring me the t shirt, bring me the color, yeah. and, and we're we putting it like down. Minute and stuff. Well, I, I think we was giving those out. We didn't sell it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we shout out to Risa Islam when he when he seen us <laughs> and he came, he's like, Y'all doing this by yourself? Then he's like, yeah. I'm like what, what color you want? What, what size? Mm -hmm. We literally did it like in five <laughs> we minutes for right him. There. Like he right was there, amazed. Yeah. He was amazed. He's like, Y'all can just y'all just did this like just in like yeah, like yeah, we set up shop in LA for the whole month of July, and we we had a bunch of merch that we was just making, giving people giving <laughs> it out. Make yeah, we was play, like we it ourselves. Designs. Yeah, it was kids just, got made their own t shirts. Yeah, we had crazy. it for the kids. We had merch for the kids. Yeah, it was just like yo, if we gonna wear something, we might as well just wear everything. Mm -hmm. So now my whole closet is just full of Earn Your Leisure stuff. Earners, what's going on? We are so excited to announce the launch of our new merch. That's right, brand new merchandise. And as a show of appreciation for your continued support and patience, we're taking fifty percent off. All of our merch right now. All you need to do is head over to earnyourleisure.com, hit the merch tab, and use the code black at checkout. That's right. 50% off. All merch. New merch, old merch. It's all good merch. Don't wait, don't hesitate. Head over. Mm -hmm. So, so so from now, all right. So now we're scaling and we're doing it ourselves. And it's obviously a, a, a much more um you make more on the profit margin, but it's a lot more work involved because now somebody has to physically do the work. Mm -hmm. Not only make the shirts. Well, first we got to buy the inventory. Mm -hmm. Talk about that. So, so we had we had to buy uh, 
you know, we had to spend a lot of money on, on like T-shirts, sweat, sweaters, hoodies. We, we, we bought it all. We bought it all blank. And um, I mean, I know we, they have the tags of the companies and I know you didn't like that at all. And, and that's going to probably get to the next point where we got to the next level. But but at the end of the day, we, we got good quality merch. We knew what, we, what quality we liked. We knew which brands of, of, of the sweaters we liked. We knew which brands of the T-shirts we liked. So we would buy like boxes and boxes and boxes of merch. That would come to the house and then unpack it. And, and then you would stamp it with the logo and, you know, and whatnot. And then talk about like different companies because it's like, me, like, I have long arms, so it was, yeah. like, I used to always get frustrated because I'm like, yo, this sweater doesn't fit me the same way the other sweater fit me, and I realized that's because it was different brands, yeah. right? Yep, so, like, that's why we did trial and error with the brands. We knew Next Level, we knew how they fit. Gildan, you didn't like Gildan because it was too short. It was cut too short. The arms was cut too short, so mm -hmm. we, we, want, we wanted to fit a little, especially, you're going to be wearing it all the time. You, you're, you're, the, you're the face of the brand, so we wanted to make it look fitting and, and well. Uh, uh, we had a uh, another one that was really good, but I don't know which one you didn't like it. But it was called Independent, which was really thick. Remember the thick one, the really oh, yeah, thick sweater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are great. I liked winter. it. I liked, that was. I live in Atlanta, so that was my that was my coat. <laughs> <laughs> but that was that we had we had the um, Independent. So you, it, everything w was for a reason. You know, one thing was good and one thing was bad. Someone told us about Gildan. Um, your boy told us about the Gildan um, uh, Pro or something. I don't know what the name. Gildan mm -hmm. um, hand, Hammer. Mm -hmm. I didn't like that. What's your um, friend's name? Which one? Uh, South 85. Oh, Chad. Shout out to Chad. Chad, Chad. I'm, I'm going to get to Chad in a sec. Yeah. Yeah, Chad. So he told us about that. I, I, I ordered a bunch of those. I mean, I personally didn't like them. They were good with the neck, so my neck wouldn't get uh, moist, like they said. Hey. I mean, you know how they, they got at me. I mean, man, man got at me. <laughs> Gonna cut this out, but uh, but but w whether or not we, we looked at a different a bunch of different shirts, we did order a bunch of shirts from the ssactive um, dot com because they give you access to all the, the all the uh, the inventory. And the good thing is they had a warehouse literally twenty minutes from my house. Yeah. So if if I had like a big order to fulfill, I can literally go there and pick up the merch the same day and bring it back and print it and send it out in the same day. So that was really good. It was definitely a good process. Yeah. It was a good process, but it was it was too much it was too much work. And, and 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 we we are big on you want to do something once and get paid for it over and over again. Yeah, create you know? a system. Yeah, you right? create save a your, system. Save yourself energy, system. time, yeah. and money. And it, and good. It was good that we know we had that to fall back on. But the the best thing about it is it was a it, we was learning. We was always learning. Yeah, shout out to Chad from from eighty five South. And yeah, he's yeah, been yeah. he's been like intricate yeah, in all the moves definitely. that we've been making, especially when it came to the merch, because obviously they have a successful merch mm -hmm. line that they're doing. So like we've just been picking his brain, and one of the things he was saying was like is that fine balance, right? So like mm -hmm. Printful was cool because we didn't have to keep inventory. But now that we're doing it ourselves, it's like, yo, we're compiling inventory and like we have to sell it or it sits. And so like trying to find that balance. And that's something that I, I stress to people a lot, too, is like find a balance. Like, mm -hmm. yo, you don't want to have so much that you can't move it. Right. And then you have abundance, but you don't want to have not enough. And now you you sold out and people still want the demand. So mm -hmm. there's it's, it's a balance that you got to find when you're doing this merch mm -hmm. thing. So, yeah. So now we, so now we got, so Mike lives in Atlanta and me and Troy live in New York. So we go into Atlanta, we spending a lot of time in Atlanta and we going out there and he's running this whole operation out of his apartment. And we have like, you know, it's like blow, <laughs> like the movie blow. when it's just like, you know what I'm saying? We got so much bundles just in a, in a room, like just stacked to the ceiling of just mm -hmm. hoodies and t-shirts and sweaters mm -hmm. and, print machine not only doing this out of his apartment we also had a studio we have a studio out of his apartment as well so it's becoming overwhelming to have all this stuff in his apartment um so then we have to actually find a physical location so this is this is the so this is the other side of it right where it's like all right with printfall everything was free mm -hmm. but we was only getting 30 percent profit now we can double triple the profit but now we got to have Small labor. Yeah. We got to have expenses. We got to have warehouses. So now what do we do with that now with the with the warehouse? So now we got the warehouse. So and, and we, we got a big, 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 big open space. Uh, um, and we, we went to Home Depot. We got about 10, 15 shelves and you stack them up. We put all the merch there. We got a little t a desk put for the for the um, computer, for the labeler. And um and and like we literally got a whole system. So each system, each uh uh, uh thing is labeled like larges and the, the type of shirt is 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 totally like organized and the system and process is in place at this point. So now we have a we have a we have a loft in Atlanta yeah. that's dedicated just for merch to, to in our studio. We got, we're not in your crib no more. 
Not and, and <laughs> you got your house. Got you got your apartment back. back. I got my space back. And um, so so we we got this we got this this space now, and and it's like, yeah, we 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 enjoyed we enjoyed making the merch, but I think we could be more even more efficient, and even the quality could be even better. Mm -hmm. So. We, we actually, you know, shout out to, I gotta give a shout out to Tiffany because that's the first person I've ever heard. You know, my sister Tiffany, she, uh, she, 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 she does, a, got a company, Influence Ours, and she, got, she gets her merch from Pakistan. I'm like, how the hell do you get, find this out about Pakistan? I'm like, well, how do you find that? Mm -hmm. So me, I do my, my, my little research again. I'm on I'm Google. I find, I find three different people and I order samples from all three different people. And Spurgle too. Spurgle told me about the Pakistan too. Legend. Shout out to Spurgle. Spurgle Legend. definitely told me about the um thing. So so you can like, learn. I want to say something. You can learn from people younger than you. That's oh, a fact. That, that guy Spurgle, is Spurgle a, he, fourteen. He's a genius. He put us a on genius. a lot of game about merch. He's a genius. He's a, genius. He's a hustler. He's a genius. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and so we, we did the research. I found three people, and and I, I did it. I did it on Google. I did it on Google. I did it on Instagram, and I did it on YouTube. So I, I I came across three different people. The only the only thing I was worried about is you have to Western Union these people is money, and this is in Pakistan. Uh, so it's like you don't know if you're gonna get your money but money. So what we did was we uh, I got three different um, manufacturers. So if you Google fashion manufacturer, clothing manufacturer, Pakistan is gonna come up. So we, we got three um, different um, things. I got samples from all all three of them. One the first one came. I didn't like it. So now they didn't like it. The second one came, I fell in love. Then when the third one came, whatever. And the way way you do what, what I was saying with the MoneyGram and stuff, you have to send money through MoneyGram or, or thing. I was a little worried, so we had to send about like a hundred dollars to each of them. It's three hundred dollars. If if we lose three hundred dollars, we lose three hundred dollars. The guys talk to you on WhatsApp. They, they're very communicative. They're sending pictures every day. They're doing that, and you want to make sure if you do go to that route, you want to make sure they're talking to you all the time, sending you updates. Every day you're talking, they're not going days and days without talking to you because you're gonna eventually spend a lot of money with these people because not only do they just do the the, the uh they they're, they're taking the fabric. I got to pick the same the fabric I wanted. I got I got to pick the tag I wanted. I got to pick the the uh, stitchings I wanted. Everything you you could pick. You are literally coming from nothing and getting a product made from scratch. It, it's amazing, and this is what you're gonna to understand too if you go that route. They gotta ship it. Mm. Shipping was five thousand dollars. To for, ship it. for a large bulk. That's what that's, that's where they get you. Yeah. That's where they get you. The yeah. shipping's like five thousand. But I'm telling you, this quality that you you guys are gonna start getting when it's when we release this merch, you're gonna think is you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I love you guys. So now, so now, so we you see the evolution. So originally, we was just letting uh, Printfold do it, and then we started actually manually doing it. We had manual labor, Skill. but that wasn't. You can only do like how far can you actually just do it yourself manually printing it. So now we got outsourced it, but now it's like talk about like the tags, like mm -hmm. pay attention to detail. Like we got we got our we, own. We got tags on the bottom. We got tags inside. The earn your leisure. We the earn your leisure tag. The earn the earn your leisure ta earn your leisure tags on all our products going forward on all the yeah. new merch. Earn your leisure tag because that's where it all began. Yeah, that's a fact. That's and, where it all began. I th and think one part that that we believe in out is that it also pre presents an opportunity for employment for our people, mm -hmm. right? Because now like. That we don't have Printful doing it for us. Now we got to find somebody to do that labor for us. So it also provides economic opportunity for the people around us. Yeah, and then and that's another thing. You know, my brother Vincent, he he's the one who's doing. Um, like I couldn't do it because I'm doing so many other things. I couldn't do this. I I, I I'm like I, I would love to, but I can't. Right? I have so many other things on my plate. So my brother Vincent, he just runs this the studio and and runs the merch and does the merch with 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 his his guy Smitty. So everybody's gonna get yeah, every, everybody eats. Everybody, everybody eats. eats. That's, that's, how, that's, that's how we everybody do it. Everybody everybody so eats. it's like you know we we create we cre what we're doing basically is creating the, the 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 processes and systems, and then we allow p other people to learn those processes and systems, and they can come and take advantage of of, of you know, yeah, just great opportunity. We believe in nepotism at Earn Your Leisure. <laughs> Everybody eats. <laughs> no, everybody Every, got to eat. Everybody eats. If you don't feed your wolves, they're gonna put you on the menu. So. That's a fact. So everybody I mean, and, and it works. It, it, it's it's working out really well, and um, I'm excited. I know you guys are excited. Yeah, so so fact. we're so all right. So now this brings us to the conclusion of the evolution of people seeing us with t-shirts to now we have Ooh. this launch. What we are talking about right now, which is the Black Friday launch. Which actually is going to drop a little earlier, mm. but we got women's line. We mm. have varsity. We got jackets. collections, bro. We, we got, got collections. Talk about all. Of, 
So talk so, about all the stuff that we have that's dropping so right now. Hold on, before you start talking, I just yeah. want to say like, because we've been saying it for so long, like I'm super excited because we're yeah. like, yo, new merch coming, new merch coming. Yo, you've been saying And they've been like, yo, where's it at? And I'm like, yo, we building it, we building it for this moment, We got man. like a line, yo. Yo, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, talk talk yeah, to him, like, talk, talk to him, line, talk bro. to him. Yo, so so he's like, and, and we like we know our audience, we know our audience. And in the beginning, we didn't have a big a woman audience. Mm -hmm. We didn't. Then I, I hit them up, I'm like, yo, Y'all audience is like 50%, 50-50 right now. Yeah, yeah. Like 50-50. Shout out to the women. Like, yo, we, Shout we, out to all the ladies. Yeah, we, love, we, we, love, we, we, love, we love our women. We love everybody. Love, we love everybody. Love the ladies. We lo <laughs> I love everybody. Be, I, um, yep. I'm going to say I love everybody. What Shadi said. Love the kids. <laughs> I love everybody. I love everybody. Kids line coming too. That's a fact. Um, so, you know, we got, we're scaling, we're scaling, scaling day by day. But so, um. We're like we got we have to have some lady some lady um gear. They can't just be wearing these unisex t shirts mm -hmm. and, and 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 sweaters and whatnot. So we finally got you. We yeah. finally got them. We, yeah. We got the tights, we got the sports bra, we got the tank tops, we got we got a track suit, lady suit. Mm -hmm. We got so much stuff for you. Oh my you guys are gonna be oh yeah. <laughs> so, um, so I'm so I'm so excited. Yeah, so so it's really a, a collection, man. And I think mm -hmm. that's the beautiful part. And Shadi Kai Reverse said earlier, he was just like, yo, we had assets over liabilities and people know that. It's a brand name. Like they know that even if they don't know us, they know that's where it comes from. And so that the assets over liabilities is its own collection, right? Mm -hmm. And so now Earn your leisure when we start earning your university, we start wearing that. It was like, yo, we have to treat this like its own collection because it's an anonymous school. So you're gonna see a lot of items coming from it, whether it be notepads, whether it be pens and mugs, um, varsity jackets like we spoke about, right? These things are synonymous with school. And so like, yeah, we are our own school. EYL University is a school. Mm -hmm. And so like the, the collection will uh it'll be represent uh, be a representation of that. But also we got something for our audience, our core supporters, mm. man. And shout out, shout out to Ken from you Detroit. Love that yeah, I love it because it was like, yo, that represents the, our people, right? So like, when people have a, a gang of supporters, they usually have a name. And so like when they came out with the earners, I'm like, yo, we got to make something specifically for our audience, man. Like the core supporters who've been here from day one, and the people who have just joined, like they are earners, right? So like when we put that graduation emoji up. We know that they with us, and so like we had to create a collection specifically for those people. And so inside that collection, you, you know, there's exclusive items that just are for the people who've been rocking with us. Mm -hmm. um, so it's dope, man. I'm I'm excited because I've been saying it for so long. I'm just happy that it's coming to fruition. Yeah, for sure. And then, you know, you can't even see. You can't. You're not gonna be able to see it, but you, I could feel it. The, the, <laughs> the you know, we stuff we had cotton before. Now we got like a satin. What is this fabric? If it, if, you, if you can see on YouTube, I, I got it's, this. It's a fleece. It's a fleece fabric. Yeah, me me and it's Mike have the EYL University track suits. Troy has the um, signature yeah, hoodie. Of course. But the track suits is like a satin it's got embroidery now. It's like a satin. It's embroidered. It's not a. It's not like patched on. It's it's actually embroidered. Mm -hmm. um, got the EYL the Earn Your Leisure tag on it, just like. Um, just like R.I.P. Nip, just like on uh, the marathon, marathon yep. when they have the, um, you know, because now it's a lot of people trying to, as uh, my man Nacho Banger says, you know, we like SpongeBob and Mr. Prankers out there. It's a lot of people <laughs> trying to steal the sauce and off brands and you yeah. see all these knockoffs. So now yeah. you, you, you're going to know if it's official, if it's yeah. a knockoff, the official ones have earn your leisure tags, have earn your yeah. leisure on the bottom, have EYL University on the back. If you just see something with just the words on it. They look full gaze. That's that's one hundred percent. You know, you yeah. know what you know what we we kind of like glossed over a little bit? That trademarking process. So oh, like yeah, when, that when was the whole thing too. every time we, we came up with a logo, we had to be very specific. Like, yo, it, yep. which one are we gonna do? Because it costs money to trademark these things. And Definitely. so we trademarked all of our all of the logos that we have and even some that haven't even come out we trademark it. But that's a process too and understanding like trademarking is an international thing. And so when when people do, especially if you get a trademark lawyer, shout out to Shabin, she handles all our stuff. But it's like, yo, you gotta trademark it for the United States, mm -hmm. you gotta trademark it for Canada, you gotta trademark it for Mexico, I um, mean all the countries in Europe, China. So it's like when you going into this process and think about merch, think about where you're gonna be selling right away, right? Because you may not say like, yo, I'm gonna trademark this in for France. Because you may not have an audience in France yet. So mm -hmm. like if the United States is your thing, then Make sure you trademark your, your logo for the United States. As you grow bigger and you start to have an international presence, absolutely, you should add that to your portfolio because it's like, yo, the, the first thing they're going to do like with, in China is like, you know, they, that's a huge counterfeit population there, right? So it's mm -hmm. like they can sell it because it's not trademarked there. Um, so that's something that, that I don't want y'all to just forget or, or kind of like 
not having them in the back of your mind. Yeah, and the only place that you can get Earn Your Leisure apparel is on earnyourleisure.com or from us live at an event. Mm-hmm. There's no other, there's not, we're not selling it on Amazon. We're not have. we don't have any third party sellers. So if you're confused about that, the only official place to get access over liability or EYL University merchandise is online. Or YouTube. Or YouTube, which brings us to brings you to the uh, to the website, uh, but that's it. That's it. So um, okay. So being that that is said, now we got some exciting news. So being that we have a whole new line of revamped merchandise, everything from beanies to to women's apparel to track suits, all of that yeah, varsity man. jacket, the varsity jacket, hard varsity jacket is amazing. <laughs> that's Ooh. amazing. Um, I ain't even get mine yet. I'm waiting on it. The varsity it's on jacket. Way. Just varsity wait on jacket. it. Oh so, my god. We so, might have to make that limited. So what we doing, man? That's that's a Black Friday. We're gonna we're gonna have a Black Friday blowout sale. Um, but we're gonna start it early. All right, so being that, you know, we uh Black Friday is a week away. We're gonna get a we're gonna get a jump on the competition. We're gonna get a jump on everybody. We're gonna start our Black Friday right now. Woo! Today. Right now, 50% blowout sale. Ooh. For all that's how we're gonna introduce the new merchandise. That's mm. a fact. And that's just for love. That's just yeah. that love of mm. you know, everybody that's just been rocking with us, that's just been supporting us. And just, you know, the free information, even this episode is just a bunch of free information that can help um mm-hmm. entrepreneurs get up and running. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we appreciate you. And um, we're not even gonna make you wait till Black Friday. We're gonna have the sale right start now. Right. Oh man. Hey, now. Yo, make sure when, when Damn, Bam, you got a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of work. I, I can I can hear the rest of the uh, the printer going off now with him. He's oh, like, yo, man. man, I can't keep 50% up. But, off? but that's dope, man. And and, and when y'all purchase, make sure that, that y'all screenshot and uh, add us to this so yeah, we can Addison post y'all, man. Addison we want to show the, the love stories, that y'all Addison. showing. We're gonna start a whole this, we're gonna run it up for the next two weeks. We're gonna go crazy mm-hmm. posting people, stories, um, in your post and your feed, all of that. I right, so being that this is Black Friday. And being that, you know, it's all black everything. Yeah, yeah. Black power, black excellence. Shout out to Nas. That's a fact. That's a fact. (laughs) We're going to keep it simple. You go to earnyourleisure.com. You go to the merch tab. And anything on there or checkout, just enter the code black. Black. That's it. And that's going to run from now until Cyber Monday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, November 30th, Cyber Monday. That's when we're Cyber we Monday. We're going to run it from now to Cyber Monday. After that, please do not email us. Do yeah. not be giving y'all a 10-day <laughs> window. Mm. Do not hit us like, yo, I just missed it. Nah, 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 nah. We're giving you a heads up. We're giving you a jump on everything. I'm telling um, you now. You don't have to wait until Black Friday. You have from now until Cyber Monday to pick anything in the store, man. And uh, just enter promo code black at checkout for 50% off and let's run it up man and like let's I said it. you know we want to give you something that you that you proud of it's like you know for years we wear all these other designers and we champion these designers and things of that nature and a not only do they not ever give us any information they never I never heard Tommy Hilfiger come on here and, and give his blueprint I mm-hmm. just never heard it no disrespect but I just I just never heard it mm-hmm. um I never heard Ralph Lauren Say you know how he scaled his business and, and his profit the marketing plan and the profit margins <laughs> yeah. and the companies that he's using and things. I nature I never heard him say anything like that. They just live it. They just leave it up to you to figure it out on your own. So not only are we you know giving information, but we actually giving good product too. And that's what we just kept striving and kept striving and just kept getting. We don't want to just give like a BS product. Like this is actually good merchandise, good product. And um, dope, something that you know. Like hopefully, like I said, you could be proud of and you can champion it, and we can just make it, you know, a fubu yeah. for us by us. Yeah. For sure. And when we go out on the road, I'm looking forward to. It. I, I want to see the merch. I want to see the people that have been supporting us. I want to see them wearing that earning shirt. I want to see the EYL University people out there. Like, I think it's so dope. But you know, when when COVID clears up, because we ain't going nowhere. Lord willing, but we want to see that support. And also, we didn't even tell them, like, there's going to be limited releases, right? So we got a lot of stuff that'll be dropping inside those collections that are going to be limited. We got collaborations oh, coming. Oh, oh, tell them about the collaboration we got. Yeah, good, okay, man. I mean, uh, so, Talk to him, Mike. So, so I guess uh, somebody, he's an earner. I think he's an earner, right? Was he Yeah, earner? yeah, he's inside. He's an earner, University. and he posted, um, he posted a, he has a company called Sodai. So he sells tie-dye um, shirts or, or apparel. And um, he posted a, a picture of a soul dye T-shirt with the assets over liability. Kind of fire. <laughs> so what he did was he bought a white T-shirt from us. We sent it out to him, and he tie dyed it. He did his he did his uh, you know his his soul, his soul dye tie to it. 
He posted it in the Facebook group. And I'm when I tell you that went crazy, we 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 had no choice. We had to clap. We had to clap. Go. So, so you know, Bam. When's, when's that gonna be out? It's out. It's out. It's, it's out. It's, it's out. Yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's, it's we out. only did a hundred. We only did a hundred. Oh, limited, limited, limited edition. Yeah, yeah, it's only a hundred. Yeah. It's, it's, it's almost it's only a few left. So, you know, Bam hit the dude up. He's like, look, we, we gotta collab. We gotta collab. He collabed with him. He he made it work. He sent us the shirts. That's the power of adding value. Yo. Unbelievable. We we only did a hundred, and I, I mean we got like thirty left, and we only released it. What we didn't even do a big release yet. You guys never even posted yet. Yeah. Nah, I'm we still waiting even, on mine. <laughs> we, we just put it on the website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and people are just going crazy. So you know, once you guys get it, you know, post it. It's, it's only a few left, so now you guys know about it. But yeah. it, 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 that was that was a dope collab. Yeah. Um, and, that, collab. and that's dope too, because like you collaborate with other small business mm -hmm. owners, and um, you know, people. So creators, if you're out there, if you if you got some kind of dope twist that you can bring our way. Feel free to try to reach out to mm -hmm. us, man. Email us, DM us, and um, you know, hopefully we can we can work together. That's what it's about too. Group, group economics, definitely, yeah, definitely. Stimulate definitely. your economy. Economy, we yeah. uh, you know, you stimulate us. It's dope. Nah, it was it was dope, and uh, definitely looking forward to the other collabs we do. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, I mean, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we don't even got to say no much more, man. This was a dope episode for us. It kind of just brought back a lot of memories. And hopefully we can do a few other episodes about, you know, our journey with EYL University, our journey with marketing, our journey with podcasts, our yeah. journey with YouTube. And kind of, you know, maybe like once a quarter we can do an episode like this where we actually just open the door and just give you our real life information of what we actually went through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, hopefully that could be beneficial. So Because everything earned, man, as you're talking, when you like all the stories, I'm, so, I'm thinking about um, when we had to pick up the merch from Jersey and it was like, yo, he's getting on a flight at 630. I need somebody to drop Jersey, go pick it up. Oh, you had your boy. Jersey. And I was like, I'm like, yo, I got to go to school. I can't do that. I hit my, I'm like, yo, Yogi, bro, I'm going to get you $100. I need you to drop Jersey. He's like, yo, it's six in the morning. I'm like, you want the $100 or not? Yeah. It took him like three hours to get there. But yo, this is what I'm saying. Everything earned, man. Like, and I'm glad we get to it's tell crazy. these stories. This, this is yeah, that, that was crazy. Man. And the dude, got, like, he got on it. He didn't miss his fight. We didn't miss our merch. And I think we were leaving, we were leaving the next day. I forget where we were going. We might have been coming down to Atlanta with the merch. But it was yep. like, yo, we need it. So I need somebody to go get it for me. So yeah, there's, there's plenty of stories like that. So, man. so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Go to earnyourleisure.com right now. Go to the merch tab. Into black. cold black, and black. Um, some of the stuff will be shipped out. Ultra black. Oh yes, yeah. so, it's, it's um. So some of it is presale. We're still get, waiting on the merch. We had all the samples. We approved all the samples and they printed as, as of right now. So everything's gonna be shipped out on, on that Monday. So Cyber Monday. That's when shipping. Yeah. Starts. So you can order if, early. Mm -hmm. You can order early, but everything will be shipped out. If it's not in stock it, right now, it says it on the site. Too, yeah. Which shipping? It, it'll be shipped out on Cyber Monday, but. Mm -hmm. That's it, man. If you want to see Mike back for another episode, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so feel free. Kyle to looking good. Yo, real, real quick, I just want to give a shout out to um, some of our Patreon members. They joined at tier five. So, Giant Lifestyle, what's going on? I'm um, looking forward to the phone call. And Brandon Samuel, uh, appreciate you, tier five. So, obviously, you know, you have access to EYL University, the number one school for business and finance in the world and entrepreneurship in the world. So, shout out to you two. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys for rocking with us. We'll see you next week. Peace. 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 Yeah. My graduates from my school being Forbes. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> a mic drop. Backdrop. Backdrop.